What is the gospel? Let's talk about it as we recap yesterday's sermon for everyday use. Well, here's the gospel in a nutshell. There's new life in Christ. There's new life in Jesus. What do I mean with that? When Jesus was resurrected in Luke 24, he appears three times. And in the third time, there is this emphasis on the physical side of the resurrection. He appears suddenly with them, but then he says, touch me. You know, he says, see my hands and my feet, that it is myself. Touch me and see, for a spirit does not have, here it goes, flesh and bones as you see that I have. And when he said this, he showed them his hands and his feet. So they're like, oh, what is happening? You know, and they're marveling. And then he says to them, have you anything to eat? And they gave him a piece of broiled fish and he took it and ate it before them. I think they were watching him. They were like, how, how is he eating this? Right? So here is why this plays a, a role, why this is important. We as Christians can either become very spiritual when, you know, when you think like any, any physical need is bad, anything physical, any, anything in this world, is, it, it's just, you know, it's just a shadow. This world is just, you know, the, the, the valley of the death and one time we'll be in heaven and that will be great. Yeah, you know, heaven will be great, but why did God give us such a wonderful world to live in, right? And so the other uh, extreme could be materialism. And I see that sometimes in my atheistic friends. They're like, you know, you enjoy it while it lasts. Hold on to your life because tomorrow we're dead. And that's exactly how Paul talks about materialism. It's like, let's eat and drink for tomorrow we die. Uh, you can't grow older like that, really loving growing older. You can't really enjoy every day because it's like it could be the last, right? And so between the two, you can't live on one or, 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 or the other. You have to find new life that is beyond the material and beyond just the spiritual, which is the way Jesus got resurrected. His resurrection was he suddenly appeared. So he, he, was, he was a life-bringing spirit. At the same time, he was a body. He ate honey-glazed fish. Now, do you think he was hungry? I don't think so. He was just enjoying himself. And this is how the early Christian lived. New life in Christ. They enjoyed their life to the fullest here, but they were not holding on to it like th there was no tomorrow. They were living it like there were many tomorrows ahead of time. And this is what Tertullian, an early uh, Christian, writes to, to a Roman um, prefect. He says, you know what? Um, the more you kill us, the more you are. Because people see how we live and they're attracted. But once they see how we die, they, they cannot but join us. And that is why the blood of the martyr is the seed of the church. And so in, in, in looking at this, those people really understood the resurrection. There was new life in Christ. W whatever happens to you, there is a life that right now starts, right? And you can enjoy every piece of your day-to-day -day life. But there's also more to come. You can live like there's many, many more tomorrows. And that is the application, by the way, right? What will you do if you would live for an eternity? What would the things be that you would invest in? How would you live your day-to-day -day life? How, what would you enjoy? If, if, there, you know, if, if life would go on? That is the question. How would you enjoy the, f the physical things? What would be a great way to do it? And I think it leads to worship. And the, the other side of it is that if you don't have assurance of salvation, if you're not sure where you're going, talk to a Christian nearby. Get in touch with us or get in touch with somebody you trust that has the faith in Jesus and say, I want to be right with God. I want to know where I'm heading once my physical life has a stop. Because here's the deal. It, it's not an end. It's, there is a resurrection available for us. There's new life in Christ. Have a blessed and wonderful day. See you next time.